good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy note 10 plus global variant and uh, request came to flash the pixel operating system official rom on the galaxy note 10 plus so your mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader you can watch another video link provided in my video description unlock the bootloader first then you can simply follow the further steps always save the internal storage data whenever you are trying to flash the rom because the data will get the format and check the mobile phone battery must be charged around 50 to 60 or 70 percent and your mobile phone the galaxy note 10 plus must be on the latest stock firmware like the one i have currently one ui 4.1 and y12 right and for unlocking the bootloader we have to tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven and uh, we need to connect mobile phone with the internet so internet is already connected on my mobile phone so i will go back to my settings and then i will tap the software update let the mobile phone check the software update for once okay my mobile phone is already updated now i will go back to settings then I will go to developer option and here you can see that you need to turn on the OEM unlocking. My mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked so the OEM unlocking is actually not prominent. I cannot turn it off. So bootloader of my mobile is already unlocked. One more thing that go to accounts and backup and go to manage account. In case if you are using Samsung account, then must remove the Samsung account. Otherwise, the recovery will not get flash on the mobile phone. Same way, sync your Google account once and then remove it to avoid any issues later. Simply, you can power off the mobile phone. We'll move towards my computer screen. Links are provided. This is the official Pixel or website Pixel operating system. And this ROM is for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus global variant. Code name is D2S. You can see that the Android version is 14 and still the status is showing active which means that we will get the OTA update and the last release was on 1st August 2024. Now we have to uh, download the recovery also and this particular recovery will be used to, to flash the Pixel operating system. Do not try to flash the Pixel OS this ROM with any other custom recovery. So first of all click on this download the latest build to now start downloading the rom file and then you need to click on this recovery download section other website will get open you can simply come here and go for the latest recovery file this one this is the pixel os recovery for the note 10 plus uh, global variant only now i will uh, download the twrp recovery also i will flash the twrp recovery first then i will flash the pixel os recovery so go for the tar file and go for the latest version whatever latest version you can see just click on it and download it then for those who want to get root the rom because who the device is not coming certified so we have to root the set if we have to root the rom then we can make the device certified so we have to download the magis application by clicking on this link other thing we need is the play integrity fix file the website link provided come to this site whatever latest version you see just go for it click on this link to start downloading the play integrity fix file here is my downloaded folder i have downloaded all the files so routing file ordin 3.14.1 pixel os rom file for d2s node 10 plus Paid farm tools file, play integrity fix file, recovery, the pixel OS recovery, TWRP official, and VB meta tar. Right? First of all, extract the Odin file, then extract the play farm tools file, then copy the pixel OS ROM file from the downloaded folder and open the extracted folder of the play farm tools. Paste that ROM file over here. Done. Now rename the pixel os rom file by erasing only the name the file name and then just type rom it must be like rom.zip press enter key done go back and copy the routing file from the downloaded folder and open the platform tools folder and paste that routing file over here now press f2 and erase all the file name of this magis then just rename gif 
r o o t dot z i p we need to change the extension also because uh, the file will get flashed from the pixel os recovery and it will not get the apk file so the routing file which was magis name now got changed from uh, magis to r o t dot z i p we'll go back then we'll open the extracted folder of the odin then we'll double click the odin file on this window click ok and then go on down odin click any slot i will go for ap then i will go and i will go to my downloaded folder of the note 10 plus where i have downloaded all the files and i will select the twrp file i will double click then i will click on cp and i will select the vb meta by double clicking on it now coming back towards the mobile phone screen the mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the mobile phone into odin mode press and hold the volume up key volume down key check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer then connect the cable press and hold the volume up volume down key connect the cable with the mobile phone you will see a warning screen release both keys okay now here on this screen you will see press the volume up key for little long the device will boot into device unlock mode where we can unlock the bootloader and uh, my mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked so i will just press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode now the ordin mode must be like the frp lock must be off the uh, oem lock must be off in a brackets you will see u which means that the bootloader is already unlocked now on the computer screen the ordin detected the mobile phone go to options and tick auto reboot go back to log and then just click start recovery will start getting flash and done then after when you see pass click reset click exit go back to downloaded folder and now the set is still it is booted into ordin mode we need to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery just check the cable must be connected in whole procedure now press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key when mobile phone reboot then release the volume down key first and when you see samsung logo then release the power key okay now wait here do not release the volume up key just wait now you can release the volume up key just wait the recovery will get boot right we got the recovery swipe to allow modification okay recovery screen appears the internal storage also got appears on my computer screen the internal storage got uh, encrypted as you can see that the folder names are not with the proper uh, form with the proper name all the folders are not showing with the proper name now we have to decrypt the storage first this is because i was having a stock firmware and in case if you have any custom rom like uh, flashing the pixel os before you are having any custom rom you may not your see your storage getting encrypted but if you are on on stock firmware this will happens custom on the custom recovery screen first tap wipe then tap format data type y e s and then tap here done then go back tap reboot and tap recovery so i allow to modification so we got the internal storage once again on the computer screen if i open the internal storage on computer screen i will see only twrp folder now the storage got decrypt i will go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the pixel os recovery from the downloaded folder then we'll go back to internal storage and i will paste that recovery file on the internal storage of the mobile phone done then on the internal the, on the custom recovery screen tap install and tap install image select the recovery tapping on it then tap the recovery over here then swipe to start flashing turn go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery now on the computer screen double click the extracted folder of the platform tools wait here let the mobile phone boot into recovery and finally we got the pixel os recovery on the note 10 plus now first 
tap factory reset then tap fact format data factory reset then tap format data done repeat the procedure once again done go back to main screen tap apply update tap apply from adb the set boot it into adb mode we'll come back to computer screen right click on cmd in extracted folder of the platform tools right click on it and then left click on run as administrator the command window will open now we have to flash the rom file type the command adb space s i d e l o d site load space r o m dot z i p press enter key the rom file will start transferring to the mobile phone and it is also getting flash at the same time now it will take a time so we have to wait well rom flushing done definitely you will see install completed with status zero which means that rom got flush very perfectly now simply tap reboot system now the mobile phone will restart and it will start booting to official pixel os rom very soon the first boot will not take that much time but still we have to wait First boot completed now complete the setup screen it's a very good rom solid performance very fast rom got flash very perfectly if i go to android 14 so this is pixel os official android 14 android security update is 5th july 2024 this is the kernel version and build number if you can see pixel os for galaxy note 10 plus rom got flash perfectly now those who like to have a device certified now they can follow the further step i'm going to show how to root this rom those who do not want to make the device certified they can simply uh, log in gmail account and start downloading the application from the apps uh, play store right but the device will not get certified all the uh, banking application will be working perfectly if the device is not certified and the device is not uh, rooted but after getting root access on the rom the banking application will have a problem with the root magis application those who don't care like they do not want banking application they just want to make the device certified follow the further step uh, power of the mobile phone because we have to boot the mobile phone once again into custom recovery and when mobile phone gets power off properly then after like 10 to 15 seconds we have to boot the set once again into pixel os recovery when you see this uh, because the cable is already connected the set start charging showing like it is already started now we can I boot the mobile phone into uh, pixel os recovery press and hold the volume up key and power key just press it wait when you see samsung logo release the power key just wait here on the another screen just release the then volume up key now just wait here the set will boot into pixel os recovery right now on the os recovery the pixel os tap apply update then apply from adb i will go back to my computer screen i am already in my platform tools folder and the command window is already open i will tap the command type the command to uh, flash the routing file adb space site load space r double o t dot z i p press enter key and on the recovery screen tap yes so the routing file is getting transferred and save time it is getting flash also just wait here okay done once again install completed with status zero tap reboot system now and i can close the command window and i will go back and i can delete the platform tools extracted folder now i will wait 
let the mobile phone boot once again then i will uh, do the further steps okay unlocking the screen scrolling the control center or notification bar tap the charging this device via usb tap it then change it to file transfer and uh, the internal storage will appears on the computer screen we'll go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy the images apk file and the print integrity fix file from the downloaded folder copy then we'll go to internal storage and uh, we'll paste let me change the view and we will paste both file on the internal storage now we are done from the computer and finally we i can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now we'll go to menu then we'll tap the files over here tap allow then scroll down tap internal storage scroll down install the mages application it is getting installed first time so the files will uh, ask permission tap settings then allow the permission over here and if you see update then tap update so go back once again you can you can you can see that magis was installed just i will repeat the installation of the magis once again i will tap on it tap update and yes magis was installed we'll go back to my main screen then to menu or magis already here you can see the icon tap to open it and on the first this pop-up window will get open after uh, opening the magis for the first time your device needs additional setup for magis work properly just tap ok to reboot the mobile phone unlocking screen we'll go to menu we'll tap the magis application to open it once again and this time whenever we open the magis application this pop-up window will come every time just tap cancel first tap settings scroll down turn on the zygisk then go back tap modules tap install from storage tap recent select the galaxy note 10 plus storage change the view scroll down install the plain integrity fix file tapping on it tap ok and done now go back to main screen go to settings then tap apps and tap see all apps search for p l a y first select google play store tap storage and cache tap clear storage delete done go back go back select google play services tap storage and cache tap clear storage clear all data delete done now simply but restart the mobile phone unlocking the screen and now rom got flash very perfectly we got root access also once again i will open the magis application to check tap cancel go to modules check modules is working perfectly we'll go back and now you can simply connect internet on your mobile phone log in your gmail account and start downloading application from the google play store and uh, after when the play store gets update you will see the device will get certified the, the device will be certified and if you are having any issue with the banking application after installing it on your mobile phone you can simply open the magis application then go to home and tap settings go down here turn on the enforced deny list and configure deny list and you will see your banking application over here just turn it on the particular application which is having issue so hopefully the banking application will be working after doing this steps right do not forget to like the video comment also and uh, if you are not a subscriber yet do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.